Hello and welcome to another episode of the DMG Tech Show. I'm your host Jonathan Parkinson and in this episode I'm going to show you guys how to set up your crouton after installation. Uh, you're going to notice I have already a navigation bar up top. Uh, you're going to have probably something similar where it's going to ask you to install, uh, sorry to either choose a default configuration or to go with a custom one that you build yourself. I probably recommend just doing the default and then what you want to do if you don't like the navigation bar that will be on the bottom, just right click the one up top to panel, then to panel preference. Then you just go to the second panel, which in my case is going to be this bottom one that I created, and you'll just hit this minus and it will disappear. Uh, we'll create another one in a little bit. So for the first one, as you can see on the very top bar, is we're going to come into, if you want to keep it up here, you want to make sure that you click lock. If you want to have a panel that's more vertical, you can do it that way as well. I will be doing the horizontal, it just feels better on the way I navigate through my uh, desktop browser. If you want to automatically hide it, you just click that and that will just automatically hide it uh, every single time you're not over hovering over it, so it will give you a full real estate of your screen. Uh, don't reserve space on the borders, if you click that, it will just make sure it tucks in tight. How big you want your row sizes, as you see, the bigger you get it, for those blind people. And of course, uh, a little bit smaller if you can handle that view. So I will do mine about right. Right there is not bad for me. Actually, I'm going to raise that just a little bit. There we go. Uh, the length of it, go 100% if you wanted to cross the entire width. You know, every time I shrink it, it's going to go left to right. And now going to our appearance. Our appearance is pretty simple. Uh, first things, what we're going to do is I'm going to do a little bit more of the customization of the colors as well as making it transparent in the next video. This video over everything with you. That way you can. Uh, have at least set up and then we'll go through the aesthetics of it. Uh, menu button right here. Yours might say application menu. If you want to take away that application or change it, different icons, you're just going to click the little, uh, make sure it's highlighted in the little toolbar right here. And once that's clicked, you're going to have all these different options to change. If you want to take off the icons, which the icons will be located inside, as you see, I don't have any anymore. That's how you take care of that. Show that back up. There they are. If you want to show the button title, if not, you can just take that away when we see the button's gone. It's just a simple smaller button. If you really have a lot of crowded stuff up there, it's probably a better idea. Icon. Just click on the icon right there and you can change it to whatever you want. These are pre-configured displays right here. Icons. If you just go up to the icon bar on the top, go to image files, and from there you can browse around and find some of your images, which I don't think I have anything. We'll do that again when I do the uh, color of the toolbar. We'll get more into that. We'll close that. The separator. How I get these gaps between right here is you go ahead and insert a separator. To insert a separator, you just come into the plus bar, press the plus, and this is where you're going to get all your different items to choose from. So the separator is going to be towards the bottom. It's right there. You can go ahead and click add. It'll add that. Go ahead and then take the separator and drag it where you want. So I want application, my menu bar on the left. I want my action buttons, which is to log off on the right. And then I want the clock as well as all my next launcher is going to be right in the center of my screen. A separator, go ahead and highlight it, click the toolbar, make sure it's transparent, unless you'd like some dots, which I don't see any. I might have to change the color of them to actually see that. I never mess, or I never use those, so. And then you want to make sure you click expand as well. That'll go ahead and give you these little gaps right here. That's why I have two of them, so I'll make sure it evens out on both sides. And that's it for the navigation bar. Now, when you come back over to the displays, if you see I come over to my second panel now, and my second panel is going to be this panel at the bottom. If you just want to add another panel, you just click that plus button and it will add it. Go ahead and drag it wherever you want and go ahead and configure it just like we did panel one. I have this one set up to where I have my notifications on the bottom right, as well as a list of all my open windows on the uh, bottom left. And then I just have it automatically show and hide panel so it looks like that. So then when I'm browsing around, I can come down here, I can see what I have open as well as any of the notifications such as this little red dot, which is this recording of the screencast. The screencast will be later on down the road. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below, and hopefully this worked out for you guys. Again, thanks for watching.